asked the employees to go take classes at the college or whatever. And what made me get into trucking? Well, I was driving to work and I saw this. Um, look, she, she said she was short and she was just swinging that big old truck around the corner all, and, um, it just amazed me. I was like, wow, if she could do it, I could do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, Amazon offered, had the program for CDL and I just jumped on it. All right. So hopping in, so hopping in the truck, uh, you, you, you went, uh, Amazon paid for the school. You got your license. So we're going to fast track this. Uh, you got your license and everything. Did you, did you go back to Amazon to drive for Amazon or you just, you left Amazon to go, uh, with a different company to get your experience in? It was with another company. It was a, um, a local company, but they still, they were hauling Amazon trailers. Okay. So I was with another company, but I was still moving the freight for Amazon. Okay. That's what's up. All right. So getting into, getting into the truck uh, for the very first time, you know, I know that has to be intimidating, especially for, you know, for a woman of your stature. You getting in there, you getting trained. What was the atmosphere like when you was training? Did you did you by chance let your trainer know that you was, you know, that you was uh that you was a trans woman? No, or no? I did not. No, I did not. Nobody knew. Okay. And the men were flirting all day long, but I wouldn't give nobody even the instructor was flirting with his own self. But um no, I didn't let anybody know. I'm just driving the truck. All right, all right. That's what's up. Yes, it was intimidating because I'd never shipped gears before. And um, so I don't have any restrictions on my license. So I do know how to drive a, the manual. All right. That's yeah, the manual. All right, that's what's up. What, what, was, the, what was the first company you went out with? you went out with and what was your first experience going out by yourself? It was, um, it was with Roman freight line in, uh, up here in Washington. And, um, the first time I went out, I went with, a, uh, one of the trainers. Mm -hmm. So, they, you know, so they showed me the ropes or whatever. And it was, a. I do remember it was like a, it was a Volvo sleeper. Mm -hmm. It was, it was very nice. Okay. He was very impressed with my driving. Okay. Okay. So now that, so how long you been driving all together? Three years. Three years. So, you know, being, being, uh, being, being the trans in in the trucking industry is kind of a you know that's that's another uh thing that people need to realize that's changing as well not just women getting into trucking but you know we got we got trans you know we got transgenders we got the the lesbians the the lbgqt community coming into the uh coming into the industry you guys are are faced with a with with a set number of challenges. What has been some of the challenges that you faced uh, coming into trucking in your three years? Oh, honestly, none. Okay. I haven't had any challenges because I I live a kind of low key life, and um, I don't know. I I just haven't had any challenges. Okay, okay. You talking about as far as dealing with other people in the trucking industry? Yeah, like you know, you know, trucker guys. Fig I mean, finding out you know who you know who you are and stuff like they that. They don't find out. Okay. Okay. They don't find out. All right. <laughs> now, 
now let me ask you this like you know on your on your social media because you know like you said you you're very open and honest on your social media and all like that yeah. um mm-hmm. you know cuz that's where majority of people meet from social media anyway but again as you said you know coming out you know trying to meet people in public but now that you're in the trucking industry and you know you 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 got some guys that's that's interested in you uh you did mention earlier in our conversation that you did have you know that that you had a fling with one of with one of the truck drivers what uh you know other than that one have you had any have you have you had any uh uh relationships with any other truckers in the industry Yeah, I mean, I met a few. Okay, okay. I met a few. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, the sexy trans trucker on TikTok. You, 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 you got a TikTok. Why, why TikTok for the platform? Why, why you choose TikTok and and not, you know, platforms like Instagram, YouTube. What? No, no, no. Oh, no. I do have. I have. Um, it's the same thing for Instagram as well. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm on Instagram more than TikTok. So it's the same handle, the sexy trans trucker on um, TikTok, Instagram. It's sexy TS girl on Snapchat. <laughs> okay. 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 And then, um, what else I'm on? I do have a little YouTube channel. I'm trying to get it together and it's be sexy trans trucking. Okay, okay. I don't think y'all need my Twitter. <laughs> nah, man. I I, I, I I don't do Twitter. I, I, I to yeah. this to this very day to this very day I I don't even understand how Twitter works still to this day. I mean, I have a Twitter. But I, to this very day, I I still don't know how 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 Twitter works, man. Um, you just write something and tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more Twitter now. It's more so. It's like I don't know what was the um the little porn thing people used to go to. Then they stopped that. It wasn't Tinder or nothing. Was Tinder? What? Bad page? Something like that. What, no, it wasn't back page. I think it was called Tinder. Oh, okay. Where yeah. you go in there and look at all the little porn stuff. But now that's what Twitter is now. Twitter is nothing but a big old porn site. Everybody posts and everything. Fuck. Okay. I, I I guess I need to <laughs> I guess I need to reopen my Twitter page then. Let, let, you might need to mosey on over there and yeah. check things out. Yeah, I need to I need to uh I need to reactivate it then. That's what's up, man. <laughs> so, uh how was it how how was it at the time like, you know, during your transition, um, you know, from 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 where you were to where you are now. How was it, you know, figuring out your name? Like, like what name you wanted to go by? And what was the challenges on that getting it legal? Okay. Nancy, your first person. The way I found my name, I was just on Facebook. And I was just typing in different letters, seeing what name sounded good. And I came up with my name. Okay. That I could just put it just like that. That's how I did that. And to get the name changed, like I said, my homegirl down in Florida, they they drug her out mm-hmm. before they even gave her that her name plus her whole name. Up here in Washington, it took not it. I think it was only a day. I got my name changed in a day. I went to the um. Well, of course, my doctor wrote letters and stuff, you know. She wrote the letter out. I went to the courthouse, paid $160, answered a few questions in front of the judge, and um, I think everything was a yes except for one. And it was like, I think the one was like, are you planning on using this name to commit fraud or something? And I said no. And everything else was yes. And then... um. 
I went on. She was like, all right, I grant you your name change. And then I went and got my paper with the seal on it, and my name was changed. Okay, okay. Did you... It was, it was, it was a... Is your is your last name is is your last name still connected to your father or this is a whole new name? Whole new name. Oh, okay, okay. So you so you got it. So legal legally legally your 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 government name is the legal name that you paid for, and you didn't keep no yes. remnants of your father's last name. Did, no, I kind of feel bad about it. Did you? But he'll be all right. Like, yeah, I was about to say, did you tell your father, like, you know, I didn't keep your last name? You know, we never, we didn't have that conversation. We just, it never came up. Okay, okay. So changing, so changing the name, getting everything legalized, paperwork and everything, uh, the operations and everything. Have you got the complete operations? Do I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to, uh, you know, did, did you get the complete operation? What is the complete operation? I really don't want to. Okay. Again, I don't, okay, well, I, again, same, I don't. Same question. Okay. Okay. There, okay. Like I said, I don't, you I don't. Know, I like to leave that as a, I like to leave that as a mystery. Ah, got gotcha. you. Okay, we'll we'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, I am enjoying yeah, myself we'll leave that this. As a I am enjoying myself this morning. <laughs> um, being part of the I am too. being part of the uh, being part of the community. How how did it? How uh, how how is the com? How is the community, uh, in your opinion, today? Is it much more acceptable today, do you think, than it was years ago? I don't know. I was always told back in the 70s, and I am not in the 70s. I'm not old, but back in the 70s, it was a lot safer for Trans girls. That's what I was always told. In the seventies. Um, that's what I was told. It was, Ooh, it was a lot safer. I wouldn't. Uh, okay. What would you say? You, uh, back in the seventies. Back in the seventies and eighties, it was a little trying time for you guys back then. Um, really. It really, you know, the community as of today wasn't really accepted as it is now you know back then um there was a lot of Probably in certain areas. yeah there there was a lot of there was a lot of tragic uh situations um a lot of the a, a lot of the you know females that you know didn't come out a lot of the males respect more so for the males if anything they they didn't uh come out and then for the you know for the mm -hmm. for the ones that was transitioning uh you know they kind of like kept that to they you know kept it to themselves i think uh late 80s early 90s when it started to become more uh acceptable on tv uh channels like mtv you know, uh, started, you know, spotlighting. Yeah, I think MTV did yeah. have, who was that? I think it was Laverne Cox. I remember mm -hmm. seeing her on mm -hmm. the, what was the TV show? I forgot. I, I, I know what you're talking about. I forgot the show, but the the mm -hmm. one show um, uh, where all the kids, where all the guys was living in a, living in the loft and one of the guys was, uh, you know, was gay and he, you know, they, you know, it came out and followed his, you know, life chronicles with his partner and everything. And it just, you know, oh, late, later down, later down the years, it just, you know, it just, it just became much more, you know, much more, uh, acceptable to what it is today. Um, back then, like I said, it was a lot of, it was a lot of difficulties, uh, back then, but now is, is, is much more, it's much more acceptable.
You know, we see it in movies. We see it in uh Yeah, you know, but they're still doing a lot of killing for the trans girls and stuff. Yeah. I you know, I, I think uh I I think that's the case when they're not honest. If if when they're, honest. when they're not honest. Like it was a video that I seen uh about a year ago where a guy actually went over to the went over to the girl's house and 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 kind of killed her. And the reason why he killed her is because he found out that she was trans. But the thing about it, he said in the video that she didn't tell him. She didn't tell him. She 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 didn't tell him. They was going out for uh about she a good minute. That. About a what well, he said mm-hmm. that. You know, they've been going out for about a good minute. I don't know how long they was going out, but he was just babbling alone in the in the video. I don't know. But I, I just think that if you're not honest, I think that's where the trouble comes in at, you know. I can see that happening, but in no shade or anything, I've seen some of them girls. And there's no way you could not tell. Get that sometimes they get. I don't want to just, I don't want to disrespect nobody. I got you. Like I said, sometimes they just get the, sometimes they just get the right one, I guess. I don't know. (laughs) Flame of Rose. Flame Rose said it good. Flame Rose said that. <laughs> Gosh, I'm trying to keep it. No, you, you, know, you, no, 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 no. You, you good on what you can say. Go ahead. Okay, Flame Rose said that these men be talking about something they didn't know, and they be down on their knees with with genitalia in their mouth, talking about they still don't know. Oh, that's a good way to say it. They still it. didn't know. <laughs> All right. He's probably even be no one. All right, man. Hey, uh, now, now I'm the one that beats up the people's <laughs> names, so let me just make sure I got it right. Nikisha. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for sharing your experience and uh, your story with me this morning, man. I really do appreciate it. I got a few. Uh, I got a few questions for you on the way out the door, if you don't mind. Uh huh. All right. So, we you you've been in the trucking industry for three years. Uh, been rocking out. Three years. Um, are you are you a are you a company driver, lease driver? You have any aspirations of becoming an owner operator one day, or what's up? Yes, I'm a company driver. Now, one of y'all coming at me, but I do drive a Swiss. What? Um, and yes. Oh, come on now. I knew you. No, I'm just kidding. I knew. <laughs> uh, how's how swift treating you though? Everybody. How how swift with, treating you? They keep me busy, and I only drive. I guess you'll call it regional. I only drive Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. But they keep me busy. I'm on the uh, Costco dedicated account. Mm-hmm. And it's really good. I'm always rolling. Um, the pay is good. And um, they're good. So, I mean, I was thinking probably giving them one more year and then venturing off to purchase my own truck. But we'll see how that play out. Okay, that's what's up. Why do you think truck drivers get no respect out here? You know, I don't know. I think people have a way of thinking about truck drivers, but they need to realize, I mean, if we saw that, the whole economy was shut down. Mm, that's what's up. Um, uh, yeah. All right, trucking school. You know, of course, you went to trucking school to get your license. You got your, you got, you got your, you got no restrictions on your license and everything. But what do you wish they would have taught? What they would have taught you, but you had to learn it the hard way on your own. Going over the mountain pass. Going over the mountain pass, and I actually 
called them and so and I actually went up there and I was like, Y'all really need to pick a day when we're out driving to actually go over Snow Pommy Pass. Um practice putting on chains more. And uh, but yeah, going over the pass. Okay. Finding the right gear or whatever to go downhill well down the steep but we did go, you know, down hills, but it's a little bit different when you're on that mountain. You say you, you say that mountain hits different, huh? It does, especially when there's snow and stuff up there. <sighs> all right now, all right. That get that, that keeps telling me not not to go do no more mountain driving, period. <laughs> I did mountain I'm not this way. You're uh, like No 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 no, I'm good. No, I'm, I'm not trying to not, not trying to not trying to do no chains, not trying to do no mountains, nah, none of that. I'm good. Not trying to mess with the I, I mess with the cold because I'm from Ohio, but nah, not, uh-huh. not, not trying to not trying to do not trying to do all that extra shit. Mm-mm. Drivers, you know. Well, dr- you know we. Have- oh, go ahead. Go. Oh, no, I was just gonna say because I remember you brought it up earlier, saying that. You know, if it snows, you're not putting on chains. Uh, Swift has a rule now. They wasn't telling the drivers, um, but we don't have to check. I mean, we don't have to. If we don't feel safe going over the mountain, we could shut down. Um, but at first, they, was, they didn't want to tell us that. They wanted to try to get us over the mountain, keep us rolling. But mm-hmm. people were getting in accidents or whatever. And if you get in an accident and you have chains on, you get fired. Wait, I have chains on, and I get in the accident, yeah. and I get in the accident that's not caused by that's not caused by me. I will still get fired because I had chains on. Yes, because you had the opportunity to shut it down mm. and wait to. They don't have any restrictions on the road. Okay, see right there. That's what I'm saying. We good on the chains. Yeah, we just bro. found this out. We just found this out. They had that's what they had. People calling all over, and now our fleet up here. No, if we don't feel like there's some guys that don't mind, they have to own chains and go. But huh? Okay. See, like I said, that that's what these companies is all about, man. They want to try and get you to trying to get you to get that load there on time. But sometimes the load is not worth your life, man. You know, you gotta it's you you. True. If you feel any kind of way, any kind of way, pull that motherfucker over and either wait or whatever the case, you know, that that low's going to get there. Now, they're not going to be happy that it's late, you know, but eventually it's going to get there. So, you know, drivers, you know, we we fear a lot out here. You know, we it's a lot of it's a lot of things that can that can change in the in the blink of an eye out here. What's you your so right. what's your what's your biggest fear as 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 a female driver? Going off the side of the mountain. Because I do night driving and there's plenty of times at night I have to go over Mount Hood to get to being Oregon. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I'll be the only person out there. You know, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning, and it's pitch dark. I just, that's one of my fears. Going off the side of the mountain and nobody knowing where I'm at <laughs> for like a day or two. All right. Now, you know, I, I wanted to ask you this question while we were still talking about, you know, how, your time and your time and your transition. Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to, you know, bear kids or anything like that. Do you, how do you feel about that? And do you want kids? Oh, yes, I do want kids. I do plan on adopting, um, some kids. Okay. Uh, the giving birth thing, no, never. I, I don't even think about that. 
that is what a biological female that's their gift to okay. the world that they're able to do that that is you know what let me give you a bomb drop that is well said that that is well said right there that is well said all right things you hate at trucks truck stops things i hate yeah hate or hate 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 things you hate oh um arby's Um, dirty showers. I think that'd be it. Okay. Arby's and dirty showers. I can't stand Arby's, and I can't stand the showers being nasty. Right. I always take a bottle of bleach in there with me, anyways, and spray it down before I get in there. All right, that's what's up. All right, Nikisha, thank you very much. Where they can find you at, Nikisha? Go ahead and shout out your be social media sexy again. Trans, <laughs> be sexy trans trucker on Instagram. Sexy TS girl for you on Snapchat. Um, be tr sexy trans trucker on TikTok. And I ain't gonna give up my Twitter. <laughs> Trying to grow that channel. So it's the sexy trans trucker on YouTube. All right, all right. That's what's up. You are a citizen now. Thank you very much for coming on and sharing your experiences and your and your stories with us this morning. This is where the best conversation starts at over here on the Lockout <laughs> Man Podcast Show. Thank you once again for coming on. And anytime you want to talk, chop it up or anything like that, reach back out and we'll get it in. All right. Thank you so much. I had you, so much fun. Hey, I appreciate it. And I will, I, I'll send you the link over to you once it's done. All right. Thank you. All right. You take it easy. Stay safe out there. I will. You too. All right.